Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com. I want to take a minute today to show you a problem that's been driving me nuts for the last couple of weeks. And I figured today was a good day to fix it. So I grabbed a cup of coffee and thought it'd be a good idea to make a video while I was going about it. And the problem I'm having is with my Microsoft Outlook. And this, this is one of my older uh, work machines. It's got, uh, it's about time to retire, it, but it still has a bunch of apps and it's still very useful. I use it every day. So um, it's worth fixing. And in this case, I'm running Microsoft Outlook 2007, getting my money's worth out of that, right? And after testing some browsers, installing, reinstalling, I came up with a or at least that's what I think it was, uh, came up with a problem that if I get a link sent to me in my email, it will not open. If I click it, you get this error message that says operation has been canceled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. That's all fine and dandy, uh, except I'm the system administrator and I have no idea what the problem is. So, I've spent on and off a couple of days taking some research and, and probably found 40 or 50 different suggestions as to what may or may not work. Uh, most of them don't work. And uh, I decided to run through the ones that are most common, uh, what might work for you, and the, the fix that, that worked for me here. Uh, don't feel like you'll have to take notes. I'll, I'll keep notes in the description. So put the pen down and pay attention. So... With Outlook, the first thing I like to do um, is look at the add-ons and disable those whenever I have a problem. Add-ons are cool until, until they're not. I, I don't use a lot of them, but in Outlook 2007, you found your add-ons or add-ins under Tools and then Trust Center. In the newer versions, I think it's under File Options Add-ins, but you might have to look that up. But uh, under Trust Center, I'll go here to add-ins and you can see I've got some plugins uh, for say uh, my team viewer or my uh, PDF label printer and those can cause issues sometimes so you can add you can disable or enable everything from here um, you know one at a time so you disable one restart disable one restart and see if it works uh, who wants to go through that the easiest way is to start Outlook in safe mode, just like in Windows. You, you'd start something in safe mode, and it will try and load without any drivers, add-ins, comms, all that stuff. So how you do that is hit WinR and run Outlook forward slash safe. Click OK. And as you can see, nope. And as you can see, close. Um, oh, I got new comics in. Sweet. Um, <laughs> as you can see, we're in safe mode, uh, right in here. Right. And that has disabled all the add-ins. I know that for a fact. So now I can go in here and test and nope, still a problem. Still the, still the same error message. But if that fixed it for you, then you go back in, start it, disable one restart, disable another one, restart until you find the offending item. But in this case, that's not my problem. Um, because I, I assumed this was a browser issue on installing and doing some reading, this can happen when you uninstall default browser. Um, the first thing I wanted to do is take a look at my uh, internet options and reset them. Okay. Good, good Lord, I should probably spell it right. Huh? The, uh, thank you. Oh, what the heck am I doing? Come on, really? I got my uh, recording bar here in the way and it was hiding what I wanted to click. So if you search for your internet options, click that. It'll bring up your uh, uh, security options panel or your properties panel. You go to advanced 
and here you can restore all your settings. So I've already did this on my machine. I, I know this doesn't work, but this very well could be your problem. Um, you can look through your security settings, see if you have anything funny. Uh, this is the default setting if you want to reference, or you can click restore the advanced settings. It'll put everything to default and then find out if your outlook worked from there. Like, like I said, I've already tried this and I know it doesn't work, but that's the, the next thing that I saw has worked well for people doing research. Again, doesn't work well for me. The next thing is to take a look at your default apps. All right. Now, I don't know if I put this back or not, but when I went to my default apps, my default email was for uh, Chrome, right? It was set to, to Google Chrome. And I thought that, well, there's the problem right there. Um, you know, set to Google Chrome, I go and click the link and, you know, it shouldn't work. You know, like that. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do, we'll put that back to Outlook and... We're going to restart Outlook and that should fix it, right? Dope. But again, a lot of people on the internet said that worked for them. And in this case, it did not work for me. Um, which led me down the, the path of uninstalling and reinstalling browsers, which you could do, or um, you can take a look at your registry settings. And in this case, um, I found about six or eight different register settings that may or may not help. Um, in this case, I found ones that, that would. So if you look here under and scroll down to HK current user software classes, all right? And I click on HTM, HTM, which is a type of HTML document, right? Just the extensions different, right? Um, you can see here that that class .htmn is associated with a data file HTML file. Well, that's cool to know. However, if you look on my machine, the .html file, which is normally the name of a, uh, a web document that most webmasters name them .html as opposed to .htm is the default type is blank. So in order to fix that, oh, and before I go any farther, we're working in the registry. I probably shouldn't have to say this anymore, but when you're working in the registry, back up. It's easy to back up. There's a million programs that can back up your registry. Just go get one, do it. Or if you're working in a singular key like I am here or a group of keys, you can right click on the item and click export and then name it uh, Outlook, in this case, uh, HTML, right? And it's a reg file. I'm going to export it to my desktop and there you go. That key now is backed up to my desktop. If I have a problem, where is it? Outlook HTML, right? I want to edit this just so you, so you can see. So I backed up that key. Right, the uh, two that, and if I have a problem, I just double click it and it will restore it back to my registry. All right, simple as that, no excuse not to back up, can't be any easier. So, in this case, I'm going to take a look at this default key, I'm going to right click and modify it, and I'm going to change it. Well, just to go back here. See how this it says the data is HTML file. This data says nothing. I'm going to change it to HTML file. All right. HTML file. Look good. Cool. So I'm going to now, whoop, I got to close out Outlook and then restart it. I'll take my link. Double click, and there we go. So the problem was when I uninstalled the default browser, it took with it what the default item was to associate with a .html file or what to do with a .html file. And 
So we just put that back and it works. So uh, I made a batch file to, to cover, cover all those up. Uh, I think this is it here. So I made a batch file. I'm going to link to that in the description, probably put it in an article. And like I said, probably put it in the major geeks windows tweak. So you have it, but you know, that batch file right here will run and then put uh, HTML file at dot HTM dot HTML secure dot HTML. And you know, if you have that problem again, it should fix it from there. So run through the first ones first, that one last, and uh, hopefully that'll work for you. There's, couple of other registry items you can look at and like I said you can reinstall your browsers you can um, uh, try and run repair on Microsoft Office that probably wouldn't work uh, but one of these should get it for you if you're having this problem there you go hopefully this helps somebody um, it drove me nuts for a little while so so uh, you know hopefully we get, we got you going here so until next time thank you very much for listening if you if it helped you hit the like button and uh geek it till it megahertz